Hey there, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Happy Friday. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another week. Let's pray together as we come to God's Word. Father, we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us as we, um, as we come to you today. Lord, our, our heart's desire is to, uh, is to have revival, Lord, uh, that, you would, that you'd work and move in our hearts in a very obvious way. And Lord, today and tomorrow are perhaps two of the most important days of our days of prayer. And we ask that you give us grace and help as you pursue after thee. But Father, we love you. We pray you bless our time here today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles together to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 31, we come to, or I'm sorry, chapter 10 in verse 31. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10.31, we find here uh, what, I would, what I would term a sacred motive. Uh, we've been praying for 28 days. Today is the 29th day of prayer. Uh, we've prayed for 28 days already uh, for revival. And uh, as we come to today, we, we, cons- we consider the purpose behind our prayers. In 1 Corinthians 10.31, the Bible says, Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, Look what the Bible says there. It says, do all to the glory of God. There is the motive. Is it? I pray it is. Sometimes we pray. And granted, yes, we, uh, we want the blessing that comes from revival. We want the blessing that comes from answered prayer. We want the blessing of God's, uh, of God's blessing on our life. But what is, what is, the, what is the chief uh, motivation behind it? Is it for our recognition? Uh, is it for for us to to do something or to be seen as something? In all reality, the chief motive, not just for revival, but in every facet of life, should be God's glory. For His pleasure, we are and were created. And so, as we come, as we pray today, as we seek the Lord, what is your motivation for asking God for revival? My prayer is that God, through a revived Christian life, through a revived local church, would receive greater glory than he'd ever had before. I'm praying that God would be glorified. And is that that your prayer? Is that your aim? Is that your wish? Is that your motivation? What is your motivation? If it's anything less than the glory of God, our motivation uh, must, must change. And may God help us today. Father, we love you. And Lord, we pray for revival today. We pray for uh, for your blessing, for your abundance. But God, we pray for your glory. We like to see these things because, Lord, we know you're worthy. Lord, we, we know that, that you're able. And Lord, that you, you're, that you deserve all praise, honor, and glory. For, our, for your pleasure we are and were created. So God... We ask that you'd send revival to this local church so that you can receive more glory. But Father, as we go about our daily lives, we ask that you would help us live solely for your glory. And so God, we pray that you'd give us your grace today. Give us your help. And Father, please send revival. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. Looking forward to Sunday. Uh, tomorrow from 8 a, uh, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., uh, we are hosting our 12-hour prayer vigil. The church doors will be unlocked for that time. We want to encourage you to come and pray uh, as the Lord directs. But spend some time. Pray for revival. Seek the Lord. Ask God to do a work uh, in the hearts of His people because we know that He's able. And so uh, we're praying for you, and we look forward to seeing you uh, very, very soon. Lord willing, God will bless Sunday. Be in your place. Services begin at 1045, Sunday school at 10, uh, Sunday evening at 5 o'clock, and then Monday through Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. May God bless you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.